A sprint uh, is a, a collection of researchers that come together to answer a fundamental question that's critical for our JCs or Pathway Forward. Uh, these researchers that come together are students um, and professors from academia, uh, researchers from government labs, and also researchers from industry. And the idea is to bring all of this diverse set of people together to look at a problem that we see as a potential bottleneck in our, our quest to make transformative batteries. Our sprint right now um, on, the, uh, on the polymers uh, is uh, really one that in, involves uh, Argonne National Lab, uh, MIT, the University of Michigan, as well as uh, the University of Illinois here at Urbana-Champaign. It's uh, an organization that brings in a lot of skill sets from scientists um, at all of those institutions. Uh, each one, each, each participant has a key role to play and is um, uh, really uh, contributing to the overall team effort. One of the greatest things about sprints is that they distribute the leadership. So junior faculty, for example, Joaquin Rodriguez Lopez is, uh, has played a key role in uh, stepping up and being the leader of a sprint. Having Joaquin in, in the team, at, in, in the small molecule team, is a really uh, beneficial you know, uh, to the RAC team because once we have any progress, he, he knows right away and uh, he can immediately think, how are we going to incorporate it in this into the RAC team? I was the leader of what we call the Redox Active Polymer Sprint. We're very interested in how polymers that are in solution, these macromolecules that we can solubilize, can react electrochemically in such a way that we can store energy in them, but that at the same time, they solve a very important problem that we have in flow batteries, which is crossover, a concept that has to do with having two solutions that store energy, but that should never mix. And so by using these large particles, we can actually prevent them from crossing to the other side and react, wasting energy. This is where a lot of the theoretical science came in, in assessing and providing a list of maybe two or three hundred compounds that were possible uh, anode materials that we could use. And so then at Michigan at, and the University of Illinois, we began to synthesize many of these compounds and began to test them electrochemically to see if they were viable options. I synthesized various redox active small molecules and polymers and test their solubility properties first to make sure that they are useful in flow batteries. And once I done that first level of screening, I take them to uh, Professor Joaquin Rodriguez Lopez group so that they can perform some electrochemical testing on these redox active polymers. My role within the sprint was uh, the initial characterization of all the materials that we were screening and then moving on to uh, testing some of the prototypes that we were able to implement uh, with our collaborations with the groups at MIT and Harvard. And from there we began to develop trends in seeing what types of functional groups, what types of motifs were important. Once we developed those trends, we could finally tune synthetically materials that were stable for days. So now we have anode materials that are stable, they're low molecular weight, they're very cheap to make in a single step, and they work in a lot of the conditions that people were looking to develop batteries with. Our research has improved in quality and has improved in um, in development in a timely manner, much more than we could have done uh, independently. Mm -hmm.